I'm a very systematic type of guy. I like things that are solid, consistent, and reliable. I don't like quick solutions or things that only work once. I like things that work and keep working. Or if you want to use the really perfect word for it, evergreen. So stay tuned and I'm going to explain to you how the term evergreen and evergreen principles will absolutely change your life by simplifying everything while making you more effective. So life is complicated. It's extremely, extremely complicated. There's so many variables and you try to control your life. You're trying to change it on a daily basis. So every day you wake up and you think, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. And you try to push towards certain results. But the way I look at it, there's two types of movements that you should be striving for in your day-to-day life. The first one is on habits level. And this is the evergreen principle idea that I'm going to talk about. And the second is dedicated effort. So the difference between the two is that dedicated effort would be, for example, if I chose to take on a project. So let's say I have, I'm a, stu- I'm a student and I'm studying for a specific exam and I'm going to spend eight hours a day for two weeks to study for the exam and has a deadline and real consequences. That's concentrated effort. So it's something that happens right now with a very definite start end and also a path to reach there. Now there's also the other side of the evergreen principles, the habits. This is a side that doesn't change. So it doesn't have a beginning or an end. It's something that continuously runs your life. These are the backbone habits that will change whether your life is on a daily up cycle or in a daily down cycle. Thing is, concentrated effort is simply not enough. So people who took a lot of concentrated effort in their life but didn't have the right habits, some of them, or many of them even, have reached high levels of success, but they always end up crashing in one way or another because if the foundation is not right, you're not going to get to uh, sustain that result. On the other side, if you have really, really good habits, evergreen habits that you maintain throughout your life, that doesn't necessarily uh, mean that you're definitely going to be, you know, uber, uber successful, but it will guarantee that you have the optimal chance of having a really, really good life, which means good health, good relationships, happiness, uh, good finances, you know, so maybe you you won't be a billionaire, but you'll most likely be a millionaire. Maybe your wife won't be the top model of USA, but she'll probably be the best woman you could think of. And maybe you're not going to live in a huge mansion, but you're going to live an affluent, abundant life. That's without the concentrated effort, just using day-to-day habits. Now, what happens when you don't have these habits? Well, that's the point. You become volatile, and when you stop taking concentrated effort, things start to crash. And even while you take concentrated effort, it won't feel good. It will feel like you're compensating for something. So what are these habits? What are these evergreen principles, evergreen habits that you can always depend on? These are no-brainer things that most of us don't actually do. And if you take the population at large, almost nobody does. Things like exercise, like getting at least seven hours of sleep, like saving 10 to 15 percent, sometimes even more, of the income that you get for savings and investments. These types of habits of 
finance, relationships, health, happiness, things like meditation also. These habits have a massive impact on your life, but only if you look at the long term. If you look at the short term, you're not going to find them. It's very similar to investing in the United States Standards and Poor's Index, the S&P 500. It's basically the main index of how the United States is doing at the moment in, term, in terms of the markets. If you've invested for the short term, you might gain some benefits, you might lose money, but if you invested for the long term, the cool thing is that about 80 to 90% of your gains will come from the 20 to 30 most profitable days in the last 20 years. So let's say you put money there for 20 years and you just put it there and don't touch it. 80 to 90% of your profits will come from just 20 to 30 days that were the most profitable in that time. So if you were not there with the money already invested during those specific 20 to 30 days, you would have had almost none uh, of the profits, probably zero. You can read about that in Tony Robbins's uh, book, new book, I think, Unstoppable, Unbreakable, <laughs> something like that. The, the newest book by Tony Robbins. Anyway, this is, I'm trying to, to, to emphasize that when you use these habits, you know, meditating daily, writing daily reports, exercising daily, saving every month 10 to 15% of your income for investing for, for some sort of a gain. When you do these habits, you won't immediately see the benefit. Of course, with money, you do see the number, but even then, like, it will stack slowly, but you won't really see what it's leading to. But again, the money is the best example. When you have gained enough, then suddenly compound interest starts becoming a factor. So if you have $10,000 and they grow at 8% annually, then all you get is an additional uh, $800 every year. But let's say you have $10 million invested. Well, in that case, you actually get an extra $800,000 every year just from the compound interest. And the, back, the bigger it is, the faster it grows. So these habits that you do every day, these evergreen principled habits, they stack up over time. So the more time you work out, the more it's going to lead to other healthy habits. You can read about this phenomena in the book, The Slight Edge, by the way which is my second or maybe even my top favorite book of all time in terms of how much it affected me and changed my life. And I've read a couple hundred books by now, so you can bet that <laughs> it's, uh, it's a really good choice. And when you stack up these habits of reading, investing, you know, uh, saving money, meditating, working out, sleeping properly, also relationship habits, also communication habits, like being uh, honest, like uh, give more than you ask, like serve, for, serve first, like seek mentors. When you stack up these habits, you increase your probability of living a really, really good life immeasurably. You know, it's a dramatic increase. It's, it's almost like there's no comparison because if you take somebody who's just got what you want, like let's say what you want is just to have a lot of money, take somebody with a lot of money who doesn't have any of these habits and compare it to somebody who has a lot of money and works out and takes care of his health and has really good relationship habits and has good financial habits, that person is, it's like he's protected. It's like some sort of a shield from many of the bad things in life because about 80 to 90% of the bad things that will happen to you in your life are actually a result of your negligence, the result of you doing doing the wrong thing over time, uh, stacking up to a really, really bad explosion. 
like a relationship that slowly uh, gets corroded by bad habits and then, you know, just like breaks and destroys your life or a health crisis that has been building up over 40 years or so. So you you let these things build. Now, of course, life is tragic. There's many things that are outside of control and, you know, a hurricane comes or something horrible happens, you know, a crime or, or just an ac- a car accident. These things happen, but the things that you can control are actually very, very l- major because the main cause of death in the United States is heart disease and the second leading cause of death is cancer and the third leading cause of death is medical malfeasance which is related to cancer and uh, heart disease so just by taking care of your health you're already guaranteeing a much better life and then by taking care of your finances you're guaranteeing a much better life too uh, because just by saving uh, let's say 10 to 15 percent of your money even if you just make around uh, you know two and a half thousand dollars a month or two thousand dollars a month if you save two hundred dollars every month that means that you save about two thousand four hundred dollars every year that stacks up quickly you know it takes time but it it's a lot faster than you think it stacks up if you invest it properly like if you invest it on the s p 500 over 40 years then if you keep putting 10%, then by the time you're retired, you'll probably be a millionaire. And you can easily check the math of it. I'm not just pulling numbers out of my ass. And if you invested in other things, for example, I recently started investing money in Bitcoin because I feel like it will keep going up over the next year or so. So just by me putting a couple hundred dollars every month to Bitcoin, maybe I'm going to lose a lot of that money. That's possible. Maybe it's going to quadruple itself. And there you go. Like uh, an investment of a couple of thousand dollars just turned into a few tens of, tens of thousands of dollars. So you, when you invest like that, you actually have potential to do something. But if you never take the time to take out 10 to 15% of your income for investing, you'll never have that opportunity. So it doesn't matter if this opportunity is right or the other is right, but the fact that you're preparing for it is what matters because when you'll need the money, when you'll have that opportunity, if you don't have the money already saved, you're going to be in trouble because you're not going to be able to use that opportunity. And it's the same with your health. Again, if you don't take good care of your health, then a health crisis will come and since you've conditioned your body to get to deteriorate and get worse off and worse off and you don't even work out it's not going to sustain itself it's just going to fall down because of the trauma so these evergreen habits should be the backbone of your life they should actually be the first thing that you take care of before you even think about starting to approach your goals because the problem with Uh, getting to your goals with success and with concentrated effort is that when you succeed, when you achieve your goals, you're going to feel really, 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 really good. And your brain doesn't really tell the difference between what worked and what didn't. All that it knows is that the things that you did at the time led to you being successful, led to you reaching the goal. So let's say that you eat really, really bad, a really bad diet and you happen to make a lot of money at the time because of a concentrated effort so your brain is going to take everything that you've done at the time including the really really bad diet and it's going to say okay i can see that we've done really well we've made a lot of money this is really good for our survival i'm just going to replicate every single thing that you to, that you did i'm going to take it and I'm going to motivate you to do it more. So I'm going to put a lot of dopamine into keeping on with that behavior, you know, regardless of if it's good or not, because I saw that it created a good consequences. So I'm not going to think any further than that. And that's how your body works. So building up those, those evergreen habits is critical before you reach success and before you start uh, going quickly towards your goal 
because you're conditioning yourself to do these things and then when you actually reach a goal and your brain starts giving you dopamine uh, to make you more uh, excited about these actions, it's going to be the right actions because your brain is going to look at what you've done. It's going to see that you're doing all these amazing habits. You know, it doesn't care what you're doing, but that's what you happen to be doing. And it's going to incentivize you to keep doing those good, good habits. So it actually solidifies you as somebody who practices these uh, golden habits. And that's pretty much the main theme for this video is take care of these habits, like make a list of both the things that I talked about in the video in terms of the habits I listed and also think of your own. And really it's no brainer stuff. It's the things that you read in every basic good success um, book or success course. Again, reading books, so reading 20 minutes every day, meditating 20 minutes every day, working out 20 minutes every day, sleeping at least seven hours per night, saving 10% of your income, um, writing a daily report every uh, before bed or every morning and analyzing your day, you know, what you did well, what you didn't do well. Uh, and it just stacks up. So you keep finding more and more of these and try to reach a point where you actually do at least most of these habits and you basically protect yourself from most of the bad, th bad things that will happen. Now, just a quick disclaimer, when you start doing these habits, you'll most likely see a quick improvement in everything and you're going to feel amazing. But then over the next few weeks, you'll get used to it and it will look like you're just putting a lot of time and effort into something that's not really that good. So the only way you're going to sustain it, the only way you're going to create these habits and actually stick to see the results is to realize that the, these kind of results you're only going to see them after a few months or a year or, or even a few years because they t it takes time to stack them up. So when you read uh, books every day, you're not going to have like a crazy epiphany every day. You're only going to have it every few days or weeks or every few months. But So it's going to feel like it's a waste of time. But when you have that epiphany, it's going to be worth like 10 times the amount of time you've put in. So let's say you put in two months of reading and no big breakthrough, suddenly, boom, like you read the right book, you got the epiphany, and not even, maybe even you, you weren't reading at the time, maybe just the idea bubbled up in your head from the things you've read, and suddenly it just explodes and you have this epiphany that will save you years of effort and time, maybe even decades, and all because of that 20 minutes. Or if we're talking about health, you're not going to see the consequences until it's the right time, until you're having sex with someone and you're like, you notice suddenly that you actually have the ability to, to, to breathe and you're actually stronger, something changed. Or maybe people around you start dying and becoming sick and you're actually maintaining your health so you realize that okay you i protected myself i created a protective uh, uh health situation or maybe you keep stacking that money for investing but you don't know what to do with it and then suddenly you read a book about investing or you find something in the news and again you have an epiphany and you actually have the money to invest now because you spend the time to accumulate it where if you hadn't, it would just be wasted. So that's my tips for you. Uh, if you want to learn more about how to actually create habits, uh, you should probably go to my habits playlist. Just write, go to either go to my channel and go to the habits uh, playlist in the playlist tab, or just search Roby Frank habits. And I've talked extensively about the subject and how to properly implement new habits with 100% success. If you like the video, please uh, like it, share with people, and also subscribe if you haven't. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'd be more than happy to help. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.